Alrighty guys, so I forgot to do the Busa X part two update. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of walk you around X. It's in the lineup, and then we're gonna jump over and do an update on Brett's bike. So Boost X is running on the max, fired up running. I got the fuel system in. Uh, I think I could actually probably get close enough to show y'all. Should probably just roll it out of the lineup. Hold on. All right, so X is out of the lineup now. So we've gone ahead, we got the max installed. It is stacked, the max is on the bottom, switch box on top of that, and then a Boost by Smith Power Center 8 plug and play for the power distribution for the air compressor and the intercooler pump. Brand new Pulse P10 battery. Uh, see if I can show you. There's not much to see under the trunk. There's a pair of gloves and an air compressor. Uh, so what do I lack? What do I lack? What do I lack first? We'll start there. Let's see. Stupid phone not letting me do one piece videos. For some reason it cuts off. Anyway, we lack rear sets for Gen 3. They're on the way. Regulator boost reference hose. I need to get a little piece of silicone hose. I ran out. Uh, the exhaust. This is going to be getting a full exhaust. RCC can. I ordered the piece last night. I need a 30 degree mandrel bend. I just got to weld up for that mid pipe to mate up with his exhaust. Because right now it is a straight dump and it is louder than sin. So I'm going to wind up cutting it back here. Putting a 30 degree on it. That will come up right behind the rear set. And boom, we're up. I also ordered the mounts for that last night. Uh, soupy links. So he liked how it sits on the rear stand. That is about three inches higher on the tail than it is now. These Adams links that are on here limit the height. He wants it to be more like this rather than this. So you can stay in the pocket a little better. Not a big deal. Soupy links are getting ordered as soon as I got to get a price for him. Uh, let's see. P clamps, I got to order those. That's just for mounting sensors and stuff. I actually need them for this too. Uh, I ran out. Uh, compressed air regulator. I need to order two of them actually. One for that bike, one for this bike. That will mount where this gauge is right now. And it'll regulate. This will have 100 and I believe 20 PSI is the switch I got. It's either 120 or 90 PSI switch uh, that plugs into this. Then it'll regulate that down to 40 and run up to the boost controller through that line right there. That is all pre-wired up, boost controller is ready to go. Uh, as you can see, we're missing rear sets. So that's what that is. Let's see, uh, motor mount bolt. I'm gonna take off his air shifter mount, put it with his air shifter so he can sell it, do what he wants with it. And I have a stock nut to put on there. Oil filter relocator, he requested we put one on. I changed the filter for now. You gotta take the turbo off to change the oil filter. That is the stupidest shit ever. Monster for life. Uh, sprocket cover bolts are not in it right now. Uh, this top left one is stripped out. I just need to put an insert in it. The water pump leak slash bolt. Uh, the leak seems to have sealed itself. It's just missing a bolt. That's the same thing. It's stripped out. Uh, that's where the uh, slave support used to be. Stator bolts. I'm missing two of them. I just got to go dig through my bin. Zip tie blow off valve slash reference lines. Yep. I need to put a zip tie on the blow-off valve, and there's two reference lines under there that need zip ties. Clutch springs. Dennis has got a set of stock clutch springs. This is going back to a stock clutch because it has a boost comp. And 42 rear sprocket. He was wanting to put a 20 on the front. It's actually more economical and feasible to just put a 40 on the rear like it should have. Because right now it's 1942. We're just going to do 1940. It'll be great. And then it'll be easier for him to change too because he can always go up on the back. So, and that's X. Uh, so that's what I've got to do with X. Let's see, I've got the nose on, the modes are hooked up. Do I have the clutch bypass right now? I do not. But uh, this will be your mode button. And when you're rolling, this will be rolling in a lag. Uh, let's flip this out of the way. This damn freaking tank bikini thing. Let go. Let go. It keeps getting hung on stuff. It's always done that. There we go. The under tank is done. Brand new braided lines, flex fuel sensors in place. Everything's tucked away nice and neat and tidy as I could with what I got to work with. Map sensor lines hooked up. All the freaking uh, charge pipes are on. Like I said, I'm still missing one line there. Not a big deal. That runs the regulator. I just need to get a piece of line. Uh, 
So that's it. X is basically dino ready ish. I want to have the full pipe on there before we go on the dyno, but then it can go on the dyno and be done. Uh, not sure when I'm going to jump on X again. Probably going to be when the rear sets come from Colt is when I'll roll it out again and I'll button up all the little stuff on the list. Now let's jump over to Brett. Brett's bike. I don't know if I've covered this in detail. This is a stock bore, nine to one motor with max rods, stock crank, stock head, stage two Yoshimira cams, stock hand clutch. Believe he's got a back cut trans in there. No, it's a factory cut because it's Gen 2. Yeah, it's factory cut. With an on three turbo kit. Now this on three kit is going away eventually, so we're plumbing everything up for the Scott Davis system. I went ahead and welded up. Yes, I know my welds aren't the prettiest in the world, but they're freaking functional. They don't leak. And no, there's not a hole there. It's reflection. Freaking soot. The camera makes that look really bad. There is no hole there. Okay? Anyway, it's contamination, actually. But anyway, blow up valves mounted. Uh, turbos mounted. Oil lines are all run. Everything's done there. I laid the harness this morning. Uh, went ahead, started at the front, got the harness laid out. The shift light will need mounted up, obviously. It's a Raptor he already had. Uh, he won't need the auto shift feature on that. He's got a Max now. Uh, started tidying up the harness, cleaning up the harness. Got everything laid out up under here. So all my lines are run. I need a P-clip for the oil pressure sensor. It's going to get mounted to the frame right there. I need to make the straps for the plenum still. Uh, I do not have clamps on the charge pipes because this hole still needs drilled. I gotta go grab a hole saw. Uh, next is gonna be to put the chain on. Is this sprocket still? Yeah. I need to find the appropriate washer for that sprocket. Uh, let's see, the back. Now this is what it looks like underneath the tail of these bikes. Okay? So, we find spots to tuck things neatly. Normally this has a heat sink and normally I would bracket it right here. He did not get a heat sink with his because this is an old Max. I did, however, extend the ground so it would reach the head instead of the battery. I want cylinder head ground on the ignition. Uh, but everything's tucked in nice and flat. I do still have to add an air compressor back here. Uh, the air compressor was here. It got snagged by another job while I wait for another one to come in for his. It sucks. Eh, delays suck. But he's going to be getting the same. Do I have it over here? Yeah. The same Air Max 180 that I run on everything. Uh, it mounts up nicely in the back, and then I'll plumb it into the arm. I gotta add a bottle. Probably gonna have to figure out a bracket for that bottle. Might just get a freaking nitrous bottle bracket and hang the air bottle from there. Because uh, we're gonna need more volume. He has an air shifter, so I need high volume for the freaking air boost control, low volume for the air shifter, and I'll have a, obviously a hob switch and everything on that. As well, uh, I need to actually run the wires for the hob switch quick because I'm about to put the tail on. May hold off. I'm going to put the tail on just covered up, but this is what I'm getting at. Conforming everything to fit inside of the bodywork nice and neat is the key. Okay, this is for this relay, by the way. Uh, this relay turns on with the key off the taillight circuit to power up this fuse box. This will be for the air compressor and any ignition powered accessories he wants to add. Uh, it's fused to the battery. Uh, there's a max relay, starter solenoid, all that's in stock location. Uh, the key is just tuck and tidying everything I can. Okay, that is the goal for everything. So, all this will tuck and tidy nice and neat right in here. And it just looks clean. So, I need to do fuel system next. I just got the plan together for all the fittings I need, and they're on the way from Finish Line Factory. Uh, so, as soon as those get here, I can plumb the fuel system and fire this girl up on the max for the first time. Uh, but, as of right now, I'm going to keep tinkering. I'm going to get the tail on it, tinker my way through. If anyone wants a set of cut TPC forks with zero miles on them, he will trade for stock forks. Same with the uh, Conta Street Tire 8090. He will trade for a stock 12060. Well, stock's 12070. We're going to go 12060 on the front. Just to make it ride a little better. I uh, think that's all I got on this. I'm waiting on a bunch of stuff. I'm not waiting. I, I need to reorder because I snagged it for X quick. Like, there's a T that goes right here that allows me to maintain the factory switch for the dash. 
and tap in for the oil pressure sensor. Uh, P clips for the boost control, boost control freaking dome pressure. Uh, I'm missing a sensor. Somewhere along the line, I'm missing a sensor. I know it was here, it was in this box. So I'm gonna have to eat that and buy the sensor myself. It's not the end of the world, but it is what it is. Uh, I need to fab up fuel pump next. There's a bunch of, this was a tail light adapter, which he's no longer gonna use because I've got a tail with a tail light. So yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff we need to do. Working through it, getting through it. Oh, there's the air shifter back valve. I'm not gonna be using that one. I have one up here with the appropriate connector already on it. No, I do not. Screw that. I really don't know if I wanna use that. It ain't that bad. Dirty, nasty, but it'll work. Anyway, squirrel. That's what we got going on. Yes, my hair's a freaking mess. So I was up here real freaking late last night and I fell asleep up here. If y'all didn't know, I have a cot up here now. So I slept up here last night. I haven't left since, oh, well, this time yesterday. I've been in this building 24 hours. So I'm probably gonna head home here shortly and go shit shower, shave, come back, do the same thing. Y'all have a beautiful day.